हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम एट द वीडियो क्लासेस ऑफ ट्रू एजुकेशन पॉइंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू डाइपोल एंड अलोंग विद वी विल डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इक्यू पोटेंशियल सरफेसेस एंड विल कंपेयर देम विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एज बोथ दीज कंसेप्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एंड पोटेंशियल आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट एंड इट मेक्स मेजोरिटी ऑफ first unit which itself is almost one fourth of the total syllabus of physics so let us start let us consider a dipole which is having plus minus q charge having two way distance and at a point p distant point p which is at r distance and having angle theta with the center of the dipole making angle theta this r distance and we need to find the electric field at this point p so here so we are having few assumptions that this r1 distance is approximately equal to r2 which is approximately equal to r as your 2a is much smaller than r distance next we know that potential is a scalar quantity so potential at p is going to be potential at p due to positive charge plus potential at p due to negative charge and we know the formula of potential that is kq by r so potential due to positive charge as the distance from the positive charge is r1 potential due to positive charge is going to be kq by r1 and for the negative charge for which distance is r2 potential is going to be minus kq by r2 because it is negative charge so potential at p is adding vp plus and vp minus taking kq common r2 minus r1 divided by r1 r2 so up to this relation i think there is no problem it is very easy that formula of potential is kq by r one charge is positive one charge is negative one distance is r1 other distance is r2 so it's simply kq by r1 minus kq by r2 now next step which is very important consider a perpendicular bn from charge b on line ap such that pn distance is equal to pb distance they will make an isosceles triangle and your an distance is going to be the difference between r1 and r2 so your an distance is going to be the dist an is the distance between r1 and r2 and if you will see in this triangle this is perpendicular an is perpendicular and uh, nb is base and ab is hypotenuse so base by hypotenuse that is an divided by 2a is going to be cos theta base by hypotenuse that is what we have used here an by 2a is equal to cos theta or we can say an is equal to 2a cos theta so we can put the value of r2 minus r1 in this equation as 2a cos theta in the multiplication of r1 and r2 we can consider r1 approximately equal to r2 but we cannot consider it in difference in numerator because if numerator will become zero everything will become zero that's why in place of r2 minus r1 we have calculated the value of an and for r1 r2 we can simply write approximately r square q into me 2a we know that is p so it will become p k cos theta divided by r square that is your formula of potential due to dipole at any point which is making angle theta with the center of the dipole so this is the dipole which is making angle theta at r distance or we can also write it like vp is equal to p cos theta divided by 4 pi epsilon not r square as k is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not next point ignore this part this is nothing page 2 
equipotential surfaces there is uh, we all know that there is electric field around all the charges and strength of electric field which we measure by measuring electric field intensity along with electric field intensity we can also calculate electric potential at any point around a given charge so you know that if we are having a charge then we can calculate that at r distance at point p if this is positive charge electric field intensity strength e as k if this charge is q k q by r square also the potential at point p vp is equal to k q by r so we here electric field is a vector quantity and uh, as it is a vector quantity r unit vector is also there but potential is a scalar quantity this difference of scalar and vector makes a lot of difference in their calculation let me explain with these examples pay, pay full attention consider two charges both charges are positive and we want to calculate electric field at the center point we know that electric field is a vector quantity so because of first charge which is on left hand side electric field must be on right hand side moving away from positive charge and for second positive charge electric field intensity must be on left hand side as it always move away from positive charge both are vector quantities both are in opposite direction and both have same magnitude kq by r square so they will simply add up to zero by vector analysis that is because electric field intensity is a vector quantity but if you will look at the potential for the same situation both charges plus one charge and second charge having same rr distance at point p the potential is uh, going to be vp1 plus vp2 that is kq by r plus kq by r that is 2 kq by r so electric field is zero but potential is double 2 kq by r the reason is potential is a scalar quantity and it is independent of the direction even if this positive charge is not on 180 degree but this positive charge if this positive charge is like this then also the result is going to be same in case of potential but not in case of electric field because electric field is a vector quantity consider second case when we are having opposite charges one plus other minus and again point p which is at same distance from both the charges that is r so due to plus charge electric field is going to be in this direction and for minus charge electric field is again going to be in this direction and magnitude is also going to be same because charges have same magnitude and same distance and as electric field is a vector quantity and it is going in same direction we can simply add them using vector analysis also theta is equal to 0 so your result is 2 kq by r square and r12 r12 unit vector is in the direction from charge 1 to 2 so here electric field is maximum at the center you can say double comparing to uh, same charges position when it was zero now at the center its value is maximum and what about potential in the same situation when one charge is plus and one charge is uh, negative irrespective of direction because for potential we is a scalar quantity and we use only the formula kq by r and plus maybe because it is minus charge so potential due to minus charge is minus kq by r and when we add them it's going to be zero so for opposite charges potential is going to be zero as again i am telling you it has nothing to do with the direction please understand this thing that electric field and potential are having basic difference that electric field is a vector quantity and potential is a scalar quantity so electric field changes with change in the orientation while potential does not change with change in the orientation potential is solely depending on how many charges are present and what is the distance of the point where we want to measure the potential consider one more case plus charge is here and minus charge is here now if i will write the directions of electric field intensity due to plus charge this is the direction and due to minus charge this is the direction so we all know that if uh, the both distances are same again r and r magnitude of electric field intensity at point p due to both the charges is going to be same but they are at 90 degree so our resultant at e uh, at point p will be at the 45 degree angle from both two vectors because it is at 9 because they are at 90 degree and their magnitude is same 
so if we calculate this value this value will come out to be root 2 k q by r square because both vectors are at 90 degree and magnitude is same so formula is simple a square plus b square ka square root because when they are at 90 degree we use the same formula and even if the charges are same but they are placed like this at 90 degree the electric field direction instead of this going to be this because both the charges are positive so this is due to second charge and this direction is due to first charge and this is the resultant net field with same magnitude but 90 degree change in the direction but this is not the case with the potential if you are calculating potential then if the charges are at these two positions or charges are at these two positions it doesn't matter as long as the distance is going to be r as long as distance is going to be r the value of potential at point p is going to be same so potential at point p is equal to kq by r1 minus kq by r because this charge is negative zero and in this case potential is also zero now what is equipotential surface so as we have been studying that we can calculate potential in electric field and electric field is depending on the orientation while potential does not depend on orientation the next thing is uh, around any charge arrangement and generally it is uh, either a single positive or negative charge or two similar charges or a dipole we can always we can always calculate the points it is also known as locus of the points where potential at all the points is same so such surface at which potential at of the of all the points are same is known as equipotential surface and uh, it is very interesting to note that such drawn equipotential surface will always intersect with the electric lines of force orthogonally orthogonally means perpendicular these curves will always intersect each other perpendicular let us have a look consider this positive charge and we know that electric field intensity will always be readily outward at on each and every point electric field intensity is going to be outward like this now what about equipotential surface i'll draw it in red color so we know that if we consider a spherical surface of constant radius according to formula v is equal to kq by r voltage of this particular surface is going to be same kq by r1 so this is an equipotential surface which is in form of spherical shell around any charge similarly this is also going to be equipotential surface let us say the potential of this surface is v2 and if first surface is at r1 distance let us say second surface is at r2 distance and potential is going to be kq by r2 so you are observing in this that uh, electric lines of force are always at 90 degree with the equipotential so if you will draw a tangent on equipotential surface then your electric field will always be 90 degree with that equipotential surface and similarly for the negative charge consider a negative charge here uh, let me draw the charge with black color so uh, let a negative charge is here electric field intensity is going to be inward for negative charge the direction of electric field intensity is always inward and equipotential surface will again become like this the only difference uh, I will make it try to make it more perfect circle the only difference is the potential of equipotential surface of a negative charge will be negative so consider if this is a v1 surface its potential is going to be minus kq by r1 and let radius of first circle be r1 as the charge is minus q capital q so potential is minus kq by r1 similarly on the second surface potential v2 is equal to minus k q by r2 and where r2 is the radius of second surface now let us consider some more interesting cases like case of a dipole 
so for a dipole consider positive charge and consider a negative charge this is the line joining them and electric field density I am electric field of lines I am showing with black lines so it will they will start from positive charge and enter into negative so electric line so force will be like this and they will go like this and also like this and for negative charge the electric lines of force never intersect each other now consider now let us uh, let me draw a cuboidal surfaces with red pen so we all know that potential at the center point so equatorial line is going to be zero so this is your equipotential surface with zero voltage because this line equatorial line is at equal distances from all the charges from both the charges ye distance or ye distance equal hai to sum zero ho jayega jaise humne pehle consider kiya ye distance or ye distance bhi equal hai to zero ho jayega sum to equatorial line pe aap koi bhi point loge udhar aapka voltage ka jo sum hai wo zero ho jayega now one more interesting fact as we know that formula of v is kq by r square so on the right hand side of negative charge voltage will become zero only at infinity similarly on the left hand side of positive charge voltage will become zero at only infinity but we know that voltage is zero on the equatorial line so your equipotential surface this straight line if you want to draw it on left you have to go to infinity but which is not possible to show in a diagram तो इसमें हम क्या करेंगे कि अगर मैं ये पॉइंट कंसीडर करता हूँ जो इस ज़ीरो के पास है तो इसकी जो वोल्टेज है वो आपकी कम होएगी इस पॉइंट की और वो वोल्टेज अगर इसकी कम होएगी तो उसके लिए मुझे वहाँ पे दूर जाना पड़ेगा लेकिन उतना दूर नहीं जाना पड़ेगा तो ये पॉइंट कैसे ड्रॉ हो सकता है दिस पॉइंट कैन बी ड्रोन लाइक दिस एंड सिमिलरली this point can be draw here like this if we consider up to this side and again if you are coming here so you are going like this if you are coming here this is going like this consider this has boundary of page i am not showing you beyond this let me show it with black color consider this as boundary of page okay and continuing to draw the equipotential surfaces like this so this is how you are going to draw equipotential surfaces again you are observing electric lines of force are always cutting these lines at 90 degree wherever they are coming in contact if you will draw tangent here on equipotential surface and tangent here they will always cut at 90 degree for each and every point so each of this surface like this is your uh, first surface this is your second surface this is also third surface so they will have same potential on each point of them and i am not saying that uh, one two and three surfaces will have same potentials even one has potential v1 two will have potential v2 three will have potential v3 and on this surface entire v3 surface or entire v2 surface potential will remain same for the negative charge this is going to be the negative potential for positive charge this is going to be the positive potential and center line is at the zero okay so that was all about today's lecture then next lecture we will discuss in the same manner till then do practice study more go in in depth study of your books and look for solved examples thank you